Hello the world poppers, in this new video we have the pleasure of having as a guest this fantastic South African actress, Rain Swart. Welcome to the world pop. Thank you so much for having me, it's so nice to chat with the world pop again. <laughs> nice. Are you living in California? Oh, I actually did live in California, but oh. I moved to Texas in America, so it's been strange with COVID and everything, so yeah. We've moved here for now. Okay, so you are now in Texas and are you working in Texas in some project or? Yes, so actually I'm working post-production, so on um, on projects and stuff. So mainly I work online because it's been a virtual year. It's made it possible for me to do, you know, smaller projects, just commercial wise. Um, just helping with um, the post-production on that. So just uh, maintaining and post-production management and editing. And I've been having fun with that, just staying at home and being safe, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, because the situation is really difficult now. Yeah. Well, yes, we can start talk about Hex. How was your experience of filming Hex? Oh. It was amazing. It's actually the first film that I directed, so I went behind the camera. Because usually I'm in front of the camera and um, and that really helped me in a way to understand where the actors' heads are at and how to, you know, because I've been in their shoot before and um, we had a very, we had 15 days to shoot, so that's a very quick shoot, but the crew were just amazing. We had a wonderful cinematographer, incredible actors and um, I can tell you more about them. So Coco Lloyd, she's a wonderful British Australian actress who plays the lead and another principal character is Marie Muleke van Yeden. She's a very well known South African actress and Mary Ann is wonderful, Chris and Dan and Stephanie. I can go on about everything. <laughs> you know, all of them are just yeah. so lovely and um, and then what's what's great about it is I think the crew they they've worked um, they've worked together a lot on different projects and we had a great producer um, on board as well Andre Coke and Marie produced it and just having them work together it it just it was kind of just working and flowing you know it just worked out so well and we didn't miss and we didn't go beyond what we planned we. Um, everything worked out great and I'm so so grateful for that and what an experience to make the film you know I've just been where you're an actor who it's a you know it's a big responsibility because you're carrying this this character and mm -hmm. um, just from another point of view going from pre-production production to post-production just being involved um, much longer than usual it was um, it was wonderful, yeah. Oh, really great. <laughs> yes, I saw that picture that you sent us by mail of all the production of Hex. And yeah, seems really cool. Yeah, no, it was very, very cool. And uh, it was just so much fun making a horror mm -hmm. film because uh, it's, yes, it's, it's scary. And people are like, oh, why do you make horror films? It's just it's so creative and, you know, it's just, I, for me, it's good to see something else than reality sometimes, just to forget about reality a little bit and just go to a different world. Yeah. And is this it for you, filming or played a character in a horror movie? Or it's a harder work compared to another movie genre? Yeah, I would say it's it's physically, you know, it's physically it's, it's hard work because you need to your emotions need to be, you know, you have to be scared and it depends yeah. on the horror movie obviously. But if you have to be emotional the whole time, it's very, very draining. It's um, so of course, you know, the actors and hacks as well, um, I respect them so much because they have to put so much emotion out and uh, it is, is draining. I, I think but every genre has its own difficulty. Um, with comedy, I think it's it's very very difficult comedy as well. Comedy you have to be, uh, 
have to be on point with the comedy and and it's not easy to be funny. I think comedy is really hard, especially for the writers as well, to make it. And the actors with comedy, I know comedy is very particular to, you know, different people have different opinions and what you like maybe, I like something different. But for me, I love it when comedy is very straightforward. And then drama obviously is the most authentic, um, genre that is probably the most realistic mm -hmm. genre and yeah uh, and not a yeah drama actors that's very hard to I think um, people yeah it's every genre has its own difficulty and, but horror definitely makes it's it's fun but so tiresome you really get tired because you're full of blood maybe or you have to scream a lot and your voice is so sorry. yeah. Yes, yes, I saw that. Um, for example, uh, type of actress or actors are like fit exactly in, in comedy genre. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And who had the initiative of following the movement Women in Film on the set of Hex? Well, for the people that don't know, there is a movement called Women in a Film that starts in Los Angeles and spread worldwide to promote women working on film sets behind the scenes and as part of the crew. So, tell us, how was this initiative? Yeah, it's just, it's so, so yeah, it's exactly what you were saying, uh, women in film. I think mm -hmm. it's just supporting women and, and encouraging, that's the most important thing not to be scared yeah. to be a cinematographer, to be a recordist, you know, we don't have to be scared, we should, should just try and um, and definitely with, with our female producers, Marie and Coco and, you know, a female director and yeah, it's just, it's just very, I think it's very daunting because um, for anyone, female or male, to do something that you haven't done before, you know, for me just directing a feature film, it's very daunting. But I, I was a member, and I'm still a member of Women in Film, and there's so many encouraging pieces, you know, and giving advice and um, making you feel confident about yourself. And I think that's just so beautiful that women support each other. And yeah. Yes, and had you already worked in a feature film? with a girls only crew? Oh, have I worked behind the scenes on another feature like, um, sorry, no. Yes, with this, following this movement. Oh, with another one, no, I haven't. Mm. I, I usually, I judge films um, for the women in film organization. So they send me a lot of films to watch and then I get to, to judge the films. I should say there's some spectacular films and um, we're going to see incredible women filmmakers in the future and what they're doing is fantastic. <laughs> and is there any anecdote that you can share with us while filming Hex? Yeah. So, and so I actually something funny i i got to be the stance double for one of the actors because um well i'm done i'm stance before so it was like and i just kind of felt i'll be in my own movie but you won't see me i'm kind of just a ghost but it was really um there was this door and we had to um i had to do something and then i actually broke the door so that was quite catastrophic, but it was funny too, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. So, and I couldn't be mad because I did it, you know, I, I, I delayed everything there. And then we had this little girl, she's, um, she's adorable, she was like a little ghost, and um, we were filming at this hotel, and, and she was walking from her uh, changing room, to, and there was one of the workers at the hotel he just starts screaming and running and we're like no 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 it's it's not a ghost you know it's just a little <laughs> you know, be 
she's like, oh. So that was really funny. <laughs> what is the most that you like of filming heads? But I just love just um, actually seeing the actors work together. Um, when you watch the screen and you see they, they're bringing the story to life and they're giving their all. And um, a lot of the actors actually, it was their first feature film that they worked on and, and that's fantastic I'm, I'm so proud of them they did a great job and um. it's not easy to go into your first feature it's it's scary daunting and you know you have this camera in your face so I get that feeling. <laughs> I remember that feeling and um, yeah and they just did a beautiful job they were wonderful so for me it was just seeing how they play their hearts out do their best and yeah, they were making me very happy. <laughs> nice. And for the people that are going to see this movie, what is this movie about a little, if you can say, if you can tell us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, hacks actually, just quickly, it means like a curse, or in my language, it means um, a whip. So, it's about um, a British girl and she and her mother dies and she travels back to South Africa where her mother is from to find out why her mother died and then she gets into all of the suits there's a lot of secrets behind her, she, you know, her mother and um, it leads her to this witch doctor who will help her lift the curse that's over her since her mother died and um, she goes from there and the curse is very scary and it's a little art artistic and weird yeah, it's just a lovely little feature film and I hope you enjoy it when you watch it <laughs> <laughs> yes and didn't you get scared while filming this feature in some of the scenes like I just saw that trailer and I really got scared. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's the goal. <laughs> I guess with the witch. Yeah, no, with the witch <laughs> thing. It's a little scary for me. I'm like, because it's just like black magic and stuff. And I actually got nightmares mm -hmm. when I was like, okay. Okay, you know, it's just a film, but I've got actual nightmares and going to sleep, so oh, that got to me a little bit, yeah. Good. Oh my god. And do you consider terror movies as your favorite genre? I would say it's definitely um, something that I've just been working on lately more and more, and it's definitely so much fun to work on, and I'd love to do a lot more and work on a lot more horror films, yeah. Okay. It's a it's a really interesting genre, I consider it. From my point yeah, of view. <laughs> yes, yes. And and this <laughs> one let's talk about of your last work triggered. Your last performance. Yeah, triggered. Yes. Um, How was your experience working yeah, there? Yeah, triggered actually yeah, no, it was amazing. Um, Alistair Orr is the director of Triggered, and he's made a very cool horror film before that, House on Willow Street, and Indigenous, and he's really brilliant. And I had a lot of fun working on this, but we had only night shoots. So, in other words, we start at night and we stop in the morning. So, it, it was hard oh. work too. Yeah single night and I was outside in the woods and the cast were just um, we were a really we became friends and we were playing friends so that was really amazing for me and um, so so talented I was I'm really privileged and happy to be a part of that um, it's actually coming out in America in November and yes. And, uh, and then I have Hacks coming out in December, but it's the Hacks in America. So that's really fun that it's so close to each other. Um, yeah. yeah, no, incredible director, incredible actor, incredible producer. Um, Love working on Triggered. It's a, it's actually a lot like, for me, it's it's like um, Battle Royale. It's an older movie, but it's not like that. Or um, what's the other one? 
a very recent one. Um, and I can't think. <laughs> but yeah, it's about friends having bombs strapped to their chests. And the only way they can survive is to steal each other's time. Mm-hmm. Kill each other. So it's very, it's like the only way to live is to kill your friends. So it's bizarre. It's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a little dark, but um, it, it's really, it's, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Okay, amazing. I like I I want to see it in this November, right? Yeah, yeah, November. Um, what yeah. was the most what was the most difficult character that you have portrayed? I would say for me personally the most difficult was um I played a girl Chloe in the lullaby who mm-hmm. had postpartum psychosis. So um it's just It's like uh, baby baby blues after you have a baby. It's just like the the most extreme case you get, and she had that, and that was really difficult. But um, but I'm really honored to have worked with Daryl Burt, and so the lullaby would be my di- most difficult work that I've done before. Okay, was like a challenge. Yes, it was, and and she yeah. got raped and stuff so it was really difficult she's uncomfortable sometimes but um but i absolutely actually learned so much and also enjoyed it a lot so you know just learning and it's just a it's just a job you know it's uh, yes uh, if you're doing mm-hmm. you know, yeah yes and jo- the point is like enjoying that you are doing something that you love yes exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How did this pandemic affect you? Did this pandemic interrupt some project that you have been working or? Yeah, I would think, wow, this pandemic has been quite something. It's been, it's been quite daunting and, and scary. And um, so I actually, um, I, I'm lucky enough that I was on post-production on Hex. So, um, 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 working from home, and then um, yeah, I haven't really, and also just on on developing projects and everything. So that's you know from home. So that has been very helpful. And now we can actually do meetings, and people understand. I don't have to fly to Los Angeles to meet people um, from Texas here. I can do it virtually. We can do like we're doing now, Skype or Zoom mm-hmm. or, or yes. helpful in a way. Um, I, I was really, I, I've been really sad for other friends who haven't, who lost it, their jobs and everything. I'm so, you know, it's, it's devastating to see. But um, for me, and unfortunately, I do work from home most if I, if I do odd jobs, you know, for editing or anything that goes behind the scenes so yeah it's it's been it's been different this year and i hope we all have a fantastic year next year you know um, we all hope that year. yes and yeah. here the same a lot of people lost their jobs and yes it's a terrible economic situation now but i we hope that the next year will be better yeah i hope so too mm-hmm. Yes, um, what can you recommend to a young girl that want to follow this career from your professional point of view? Yeah, so what I can re- recommend, if you want to become a filmmaker, um, and a lot of young people do this, they have their phones and you can make fantastic videos on, on, you know, on any phone or, or smartphone these days is to maybe start playing with that, you know, get a group of friends, you have your phone, make movies um, for, I can just think of Paranormal Activity as one, that wasn't professional cameras or anything, it was, um, it did so well, it, it sold, and it did incredible at the, bo- at the box office, made millions of dollars, and um, so be creative, start using what you have for free, you don't have to, because everybody thinks, no, they need 
they need million dollars to make their first film. You know, that's a lot. Of Never done anything before. <laughs> Just start with um, creating stuff at home. What kind of movies can you make with your phone? Um, what kind of Okay, so next step is, okay, this is what you want to do. Um, before you just invest everything you have, um, okay, let's get a better camera. Or if you want to be an actress, um, I found it very helpful to do workshops. So um, uh, I, didn't, I didn't do a degree, and I think it's great if you do a degree, but I didn't, so I, I can't really talk, you know, about getting a degree. But I courses so I would do um, a four week or eight week course and then I meet a lot of people and um, in the beginning I was so keen to work on any set I was like I'll come work for free I just want to learn you know um, I can carry your coffee anything so after, in the beginning you know with students um, it's just the beginning uh, I yes I just wanted to learn so I think that's a good way to start and meet people and when you work hard you're like yes they want to use you again so next <laughs> time they pay you so yeah just, <laughs> and don't get up <laughs> yeah yes nice um how can we find you on social networks okay so um instagram facebook and Twitter, I'm at Rainus, and I would love for you to check out my uh, the film is hexfilm.com. Oh, sorry, the website is hexfilm.com, mm -hmm. and soon we'll have everything on there. Um, and the film is on Instagram and Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. It's hexfilm, and yeah, it's we we are there. And um, if anybody has questions for the film. Makers, because we're independent filmmakers, and if anybody wants to make a film, um, we'd love to give suggestions and help where we can, you know, to provide. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much, Rain, for this interview. Thank you. You're lovely. And you are lovely to talk to, and thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yes, we hope all guys going to see this movie in November and Hex in December, right? Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, Rain. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.